If you're a small business owner or entrepreneur, chances are you have a GoDaddy account to manage your domain names and web hosting. And if you have employees or contractors helping you with your website or online presence, you may want to consider delegating access to your GoDaddy account. Here's how to delegate access to your GoDaddy account in just a few steps. First of all, you're going to want to go to account settings in the tab once you've logged in, then scroll down to delegated access and then click grant access. Now there's two ways of doing this. You can ask them to request access to your email or you can invite someone else. In this case, we're going to invite myself. So if you're a client of the Go Agency, go ahead and put Micah Gaudio and Micah Gaudio at Gmail, not Micah Gaudio or Micah at Go Agency. And then let's talk about the different levels of access you may want to grant, such as manage products or account settings. Okay, set the duration of access. You can also do that, but this is pretty much products, domains, and purchases means they can buy things on your account. Um, if you really trust the person, it's your web developer, yes. If it's an employee, maybe it's just product and domains, right? Or domains only. So once you hit invite, I'm gonna show you what happens on the other side. So then you'll see something like this after you go through all the dual authentication processes, then you confirm access. Now you'll be able to see the client's domains. As you can see, I got quite a few here as well, um, very easily in your account. So let's summarize all this. Delegating access to your GoDaddy account can be beneficial when working with employees or contractors to manage your website or online presence. By granting access to specific individuals, you can collaborate more efficiently and streamline with the process of managing your online assets. You can choose the level of access to grant and to set the duration and access to ensure that your account remains secure. By delegating access, you can focus on more important aspects of your business while still ensuring that your online presence is being managed effectively. In this particular case, every client that I let them manage their own domain, they end up losing it. Either their credit card expires or their, another employee grabs some mail and pays some bill, which is actually transferring the domain. Always, if you're a web developer, make sure you have access to your client's domains. And if you are a client or a business, make sure your trusted web developer or at least your IT guy has access to your domain as well as you. It will save everybody a lot of headaches. I hope this video helps you. And once again, if you like me, subscribe, gotta yo, and be a friend.